Now, following Zelensky's speech, President Biden is expected to announce that $800 million in new aid for Ukraine. Allison Harris live at the White House with a preview of what we can expect in terms of uh, the cash flow, because that is one thing that the United States has been generous with. Yeah, President Biden's expected to announce even more money in military aid for Ukraine just after we hear from Ukrainian President Zelensky today in his address to Congress, in which Zelensky is expected to not hold back in his calls for help. President Biden expected to announce more money for Ukraine, a total of more than a billion dollars in military aid. The U.S. sending anti-armor and anti-air systems, as well as javelins and stingers, which Ukraine has requested. All right. Thank you. The money coming from more than $13 billion in funding Congress passed and Biden signed Tuesday for Ukraine. We're moving urgently to further augment the support to the brave people of Ukraine as they defend their country. This as the Biden administration is committing $186 million to help the more than 3 million people frantically fleeing Ukraine. With billions more included in this bill for new humanitarian assistance, we're going to be able to quickly ramp up our response and help alleviate the suffering that Putin's war is causing the Ukrainian people and the region. The announcement comes as President Biden prepares to travel to Europe, his first trip back to the continent since his summer summit in Geneva with Russian President Putin, this time traveling for an emergency summit at NATO. His goal is to meet in person, face to face with his European counterparts and talk about and assess where we are at this point in the conflict. And meanwhile, Russia is striking back at sanctions imposed by the West yesterday, leveling sanctions against President Biden, Secretary of State Antony Blinken, as well as members of the Biden administration, even including White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. The Kremlin prohibiting their travel to Russia, freezing any assets that they hold in Russia. This is largely symbolic. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.